This is KNEV.TV weather from the KNEV Storm Center, your trusted source for weather. We're going to be dealing with cloudy skies, snow showers, especially here in this time frame after 10 and before 6 in the morning. That looks like when the majority of our snow is going to fall tonight and we will see some accumulating snow. Snow is going to be likely light accumulations again overnight tonight. More snow is possible Saturday. Generally speaking, we really have a cool seven day forecast in store for us. Yesterday we hit 55 degrees thanks to those winds after a morning low of 16. We were nowhere near that today and nothing in the rain gauge yet for 2021. We'll try to change that overnight tonight. Temperatures in the 30s. Uh, primarily across almost all of the high plains here. A few 40s down in uh, portions of Kansas and some teens there in northeastern portions of South Dakota. Here close to home, we're in the 30s all across our region. 30 in Lusk, up to 39 in Scotts Bluff, somewhere in between it where you're at. Light winds out of the east northeast, under 10 miles an hour, making those wind chills in the 20s and low to mid 30s out there. As we look at our forecast for tomorrow, when you get on the bus, it's going to be partly to mostly cloudy, 26 degrees uh, when you head on the bus and on the way home. We'll see partly cloudy skies and temps in the mid 30s. Generally speaking tomorrow, it'd be a fair amount of clouds around the region, but it is going to be dry. Now let's take a look at future cast. Here we are sitting in the uh, five o'clock hour. We have all the activity and it's very light off to our south. Notice it's going to develop right on top of us here as we go through the overnight hours. Snow develops by 10, 11 o'clock, spreads across the region. This is the question mark that we have, where that band is going to set up. You'll notice this particular model showing a decent band right along the North Platte River, then lifting off to the north towards sunrise tomorrow. Certainly the northern portions of the area have a better chance at getting some accumulating snow, but if this snow develops right where the forecast models were showing it, we could have a pretty decent band of snow here in the North Platte River Valley. Temperatures tonight into the 20s. Now tomorrow we start to shove that snow off to the northeast by 8, 9 o'clock in the morning. It's gone and we have clearing skies and then another reinsurgence of clouds later on in the day. Like I said, generally speaking, we're going to have a cloudy day tomorrow for the most part. Uh, and then another round of some light snow starts to develop off to the north by Saturday morning. We'll be dealing with another round of snow Saturday during the day here across the region. Highs tomorrow going to be in the 30s, a couple of low 40s sneaking in out there. And as we look at uh, precip, the good news is this particular computer model showing a decent amount of precip for us between a tenth and uh, two to three tenths of an inch of moisture. And if we can get that, that would be the most moisture we've had in quite a while. And it should equate to some accumulating snow, generally an inch or two possible if we get in a, under some of those heavier bands. Uh, this showing maybe a little over two uh, in a couple of areas, but again, a one to two inch swath of snow, not out of the question. Certainly, I think a heavy dusting to an inch uh, possible for most of us. And again, if that heavier band sets up where that sets up shop for just a little bit, it's not going to be a long duration snowfall. We could be dealing with uh, some accumulating snow, maybe a couple of inches out there. Now, as we take a look at this is the next round. This is what's coming on Saturday. It's favoring areas of northeastern Wyoming uh, and eastern portions of Wyoming with light amounts everywhere that more moderate snowfall totals with, with this model off to the northeast of us. Pretty similar situation with the American model, northern portions of the region with lighter amounts across the rest of the area. We'll see, but certainly interesting to talk about a couple of chances of snow here over the next couple of days. Periods of snow showers overnight, light accumulations are expected, 26 for a low tomorrow. How about 39 with partly cloudy skies early, more clouds later on in the day. Five to 10 mile an hour uh, winds tomorrow is all. And then there's that next chance of snow showers in our forecast for Saturday. Highs in the low 30s is all. Maybe back to near 40 Sunday and Monday. Another system comes through by Tuesday, dropping us back in the 30s. And then finally by Thursday of next week, maybe back up into the mid 40s. But generally speaking, a cooler and a little more interesting seven day forecast than what we've had so far in all of 2021.